Because we took you there that one time. Well, no, but he, because he has a house that he, he rents or leases out in, in uh, El Toro, I guess it is. Oh, uh, El Toro, near El Toro. Somewhat, yeah, I, I don't, anyway. He's got, you know, that, and uh, I'm not sure where he, he doesn't live in it, but I mean, I don't know where he exactly lives. brought up the same way you did and that's hey I got this strummy place I said oh, I think I've been there. Get off your phone, Texas. So I saw a tow truck operator driving eating soup the other day. Both hands. It's pretty funny. Oh, really? Just and driving down the freeway of straight. It's yeah. never been straight. It never will be straight. I think property rights are winners for that and such. Failure to enact eminent domain properly. <laughs> That's what I was reading about it. That's what's fucking up high speed rail. You set a time limit. So therefore you need to get it in the time limit and you will need the property. You will need the property, you're gonna have to pay the price. The price is whatever the fucking person's gonna want you to pay. Or you just take it. You should just take it. Oh my god, it's gonna screw up our super crops that can only grow in this one place. Well you know what? We need trains to go from A to B, which is more important than your crop that only grows here, apparently. visiting Jenny or shortly thereafter they approved the bonds to make that one stretch. Oh, the northern. test stretch? Big. Well, I don't know what they didn't call it a test stretch, but it's well, up in the middle of is. central California. Uh, I know. It's what it is, what it is. It's the test stretch. They want to get the train to go there and see if it gets up to high speed, and then if it does, then they'll start building out from either end. But, you know, people who don't understand what it is that they're doing question the hell out of it and therefore make the process that much more worse. Geo 
then why would you need to make this test stretch to make sure that the train can actually go at the speed it needs to travel? Why don't you just do it? Well, I, I mean, again, I'm trying to remember, but I mean, they only have so much money. And well, that's again their own fault for saying, here's how much money we're going to spend when we know the cost is only going to increase. It's a failure by the government officials, it's a failure by the people. Is that their car? I think so. It's not my car. No, but I mean, I couldn't tell what it was. Yeah, it's their car, definitely. Anyway. specifications of inches and centimeters. The precision. Are we talking about their car or the train? The train <laughs> and the fact that cars are measured for bullshit specifications and bumpiness and totally brutal to people with fucked up necks. I would like to see the state of California. I think Dick has the balls, though. For? For actually being the lawyer that I need. No, no. For what? So you said sue? So. Sue the state of California for allowing the situation of fucked up roads. And then oh. also for allowing the fucking workers' compensation to be as it is. And working in conjunction with each other with the state and the workers' compensation appeals board and state compensation insurance fund. For delaying my case indefinitely. So every single motherfucking bump in the road reminds me of how fucked up this place is. So eventually I might develop software that's going to count every single bump in the road that I've recorded and charge them for it. It's one of my ideas. Charge the state of California and the state compensation insurance fund for every single bit of pain that they've forced me to go through because of the situation that they have created and willfully continue to support. I would love to be able to just walk around and take a fucking train. Yeah.